Prosocial behavior and aggression both originate in early life, but how do they relate to each other as children grow older? To answer that question, we studied both behaviors in the same sample from infancy to seven years of age. We recruited a representative sample of 332 first-time mothers from prenatal clinics in Cardiff, Wales. We interviewed the mothers and their partners during the pregnancy and observed the children five times between six months and seven years of age, alternating between their homes and our lab. We also asked mothers and fathers and a third person who knew the infant well to complete questionnaires. These revealed significant individual differences in both aggression and prosocial behavior that endured over time. Individual differences in prosocial behavior and aggression were also apparent when one and a half year old children played in their own homes with familiar peers. We wanted to know if aggressive behavior might occur more often in challenging situations where children met other children for the first time. We held experimental birthday parties in the lab at one and two and a half years of age where costume characters joined in. Prosocial behavior was more common than aggression at both ages, and aggression was found to decline over time. We followed up the children at age seven after they had settled into school for two years and used experimental tasks to study their aggressive and prosocial decision making. Individual differences in decision making correlated with other cognitive and social cognitive skills and teachers' reports of prosocial and aggressive behavior with classmates. In longitudinal analyses, we found that for a minority of children, early aggressiveness predicted later behavioral problems and diagnoses of conduct disorder and or oppositional defiant disorder. Our findings have implications for helping young children who struggle with anger and self-control. In collaboration with other colleagues at Cardiff University and educational psychologists, we have now established a center to assess young children whose aggression and other neurodevelopmental problems make it very difficult to adapt to school. However, our findings show that it is important to appreciate and promote children's pro-social behavior and not just focus on reducing their aggression. Thank you for watching this video abstract, which was produced by Paul Allen within the School of Psychology at Cardiff University. For more information about this work, please see the SRCD monograph, Pro-Social and Aggressive Behavior, a Longitudinal Study, by Hay, Payne, Para, Cook, Hashmi, Robinson, Karras, and Slade. If you liked this video, consider watching our Monograph Matters playlist. For additional resources related to this and other issues of the monographs of the Society for Research and Child Development, please visit monographmatters.srcd.org.